be giving you all some tips on how to stay safe online. You see, the internet is a public place, so it is up to you to protect yourself. Here are some tips to help you stay safe when using the internet. Peace out. Number one, be mindful of what you share online and what site you share it to. Any information or content shared on the internet is never removed. It is out there waiting to be discovered. You may have removed the content from your profile, but you can't be sure if others have already viewed it or saved it. Although the erased content may not be visible to you or other site visitors, it is still kept somewhere. Number two, do not just accept terms and conditions. Read them. The majority of individuals either don't read them at all because the terms and conditions are so lengthy or because they just take them for granted that they are true and legal. Between you and the business you are using, the terms and conditions form a contract. Your future rights could be badly harmed if you sign a legally binding contract without thinking it through. Number three, check out the privacy policy page of a website to learn how the website handles the information you share. Users feel a lot more secure knowing they have a lot of control over their personal data under the terms they agree to. A website's or an app's privacy policy should explain to users how their personal information is handled. Data privacy policies are crucial for complying with various privacy laws, but they also help website visitors understand what to expect from the website. They will be aware of the information the website is gathering, why it's gathering it, and how to get in touch with who manages the website if they have any queries or concerns. Number four, know the security features of the social networking site you use. The privacy and security settings on your social networking sites should be understood and used because they assist you in managing your online experience well and limiting who may see the content you upload. This can be helpful if you don't want certain friends online to see some of your content if you fear how they react to it. Number five, do not share any of your passwords with anyone. Security of passwords is crucial since they serve as your first line of protection against hackers and their unlawful access to your personal information. Even if you trust the person to whom you give your password, they might not store it in a secure location or they might retain it on a compromised computer, making it vulnerable to theft and endangering your accounts and your personal data. Number six. Avoid logging in to public networks or Wi-Fi. Risks associated in public Wi-Fi. The possibility of a hacker to place themselves between you and the connection point poses the biggest threat to free Wi-Fi security. You communicate with the hacker who then sends it to the hotspot rather than the hotspot directly. Number seven. Do not talk to strangers, whether online or face-to-face. -face. Being safe is preferable to taking a financial stability risk. Another possible danger is product fraud. Online scams, like catfishing, are so popular because it's difficult to tell who is who in the virtual world. This is particularly risky when adults pursue relationships with people who aren't of legal age. Number eight, never post anything about a future vacation. Never disclose future travel plans online 
despite how alluring it may seem, posting information about any upcoming trip plans is the worst thing you can do. You will not only alert criminals like thieves when you'll be gone, but they can also be waiting for you when you return from your vacation. Number nine, add friends you know in real life and refrain from adding strangers. If you accept a friend request from a fake profile created by a hacker, they will be able to download your photos, personal information, create a fake account using your name, and start sending requests to all of your friends. They will also be able to see everything you upload to Facebook. Once that occurs, their strategy can acquire dozens or even hundreds of accounts, enabling them to send their new friends spam and links to malicious software. This is probably how it happens when someone asks to be your friend after having their account stolen. Your private information including your address, location, and photos can also be hacked by others. Social media addiction can lead to deteriorated physical and mental health in users. So, unless they are recommended by a reliable source, you should refrain from adding strangers. Number 10. Avoid visiting untrusted websites. Avoid downloading software from unreliable sources or going to unfamiliar websites. These websites often host malware that will discreetly and automatically corrupt your machine. These harmful websites frequently resemble trustworthy websites, and simply accessing one of them might lead to an assault on your computer. Number 11. Install and update an antivirus software on your computer. Why is it necessary to install and update a computer's antivirus software? That's because malware can steal your data, encrypt it so you can't access it, or even entirely destroy it once it's on your computer or laptop. To safeguard your data and devices, it's essential that you use antivirus software at all times and keep it updated. Number 12. If you have Wi-Fi at home, make it a private network by creating a password. It can be challenging to keep intruders out of your home wireless network if your Wi-Fi connection is public. Wi-Fi connection, in contrast to physical networks, can go outside the confines of your house. Once a password for access goes out in the public, it is very hard to regulate who can access your home network. Hence, you should think about putting in place some adjustments and habits that shield you from intruders, snoopers, and internet carpetbaggers. Number 13. Avoid downloading anything from untrusted websites. We visit various websites on a regular basis, and it's vital to know which ones are secure. A website that is unreliable is one that was created with the goal of stealing users' personal information. These malicious websites frequently resemble legitimate websites, and simply visiting one could infect your machine. You could be prompted to download software that your computer seems to need. Your equipment and critical data may be at risk from a dangerous installation. Number 14. Buy the software. Do not use the pirated ones. Software purchased from reliable sources can be very pricey. Due to those expenses, many academics, including students, researchers, and other individuals, find themselves in challenging circumstances. To continue working on a research project or to study in a particular program, they might need to purchase a costly piece of highly specialized software. Individuals who find themselves on restricted budgets find it difficult or impossible to set aside enough money for the merchandise. Some then use illegally obtained software. It compromises of any titles used outside the licensing parameters granted by the maker or distributor. 
That can entail utilizing an unlicensed, subpar copy. Software copyright laws are violated when pirated software is used or distributed. Businesses and individuals face up to $150,000 in penalties for every case. In addition, they committed a crime which carries a sentence of up to five years in jail. Even if someone uses pirated software unintentionally, the majority of websites that sell cracked software don't inform users that doing so is against the law. The implications for their businesses, careers, and livelihoods may result from their activities. Authorities at a university, for instance, can conclude that a visiting lecturer violated the conditions of the agreement that allowed them to visit the institution if there are claims that they use pirated software. Number 15. Do not reply or click links from suspicious emails. Never click on any links that are included in messages. Do not click on any links or attachments in emails that are unexpected or suspicious for any other reason. Phishing communications contain links that take you to malicious websites. Don't open it. In some situations, the act of opening the phishing email may cause you to jeopardize the security of your personally identifiable information, or PII. Do not download any of the messages attachments. Malware such as viruses, worms, or spyware might be present in attachments. Never respond to the sender. Don't comply with any requests the sender may make and refrain from contacting any phone numbers listed in the message. And that's it for the tips I can give on how to stay safe online. Thank you so much for listening. I am Jasmine Inzerano from ABM 11 Group 3 and this is my performance task in ICT. Thank you.